ingredients mm. also to feel that way i mean confidence uh, you were talking about clarity <laughs> clarity of thought i mean a lot of these wouldn't you think that a lot of these things would uh, get together to form that relaxation of mind absolutely according to when we teach the art of living right we work it's a five day program okay and it's, we teach and by the way this is it's the largest volunteer based organization i am a volunteer and we charge a fee for this course and the fee is collected is used to do charity work right okay. to help others Lovely. so i do this as a volunteer this is my passion my way to contribute to society and uh, the, the the art of living chapters are all around the world all around the world country. every refer in a mongolia to you know okay. to saudi arabia to wherever you go usa is very big and That's a bit of history it. it started how long ago it started about 30 years ago Okay. Uh, and by a founder, his name is uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, an amazing man, very funny, very mm. he's an enlightened master, he's very great. Uh, I was I I was reading up about him yesterday. Yeah, he's a great guy. Mm. He's the funniest guy I've ever come across. Okay. okay. Uh, he he founded it, and he's simplified this into a very you know easy scientific way to be able to relax the body and the mind, to eliminate stress from a nervous system. Mm. Now, when that happens, automatically your best starts coming out, right? Now. So what happens is that we in the class we teach you one uh, very simple concept right that you have seven layers to your being starts with the body is only one part okay. that's the physical part hmm. it has got a rhythm of its own right it's got stresses of its own right hmm. then there's the breath which has which runs through the body hmm. beyond that is the mind okay right the, do you know what the mind is what is it mind is are you listening to me hmm. now you listen you listen to your ears hmm. but your mind is the quality that perceives things right and That's that understands things yes okay beyond the mind is the something called the intellect because when you hear me you either agreeing or disagreeing with me ha ha yes 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 or no 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 that's the filter that we have ha right? of course filter and beyond that is something called the memory right where you which accesses and sort of uses that as a reference base now memories can have also stresses right hmm. some people only remember bad memories versus good memories of course Each some layer has got a stress memories you want to get you know rid of absolutely and beyond the memory is the ego ego is the sense of i right now people think ego is oh i am so great but the ego goes the other way also it goes i am so ugly i am not intelligent i am hmm. not capable this is just some programming that we've developed what we call ego and when you can transcend your ego you come into yourself or what you call the spirit or you know infinite intelligence everything this is where you i uh, where we, we, we you and i are not disconnected we are not separate we are one and when you are able to balance all of these different layers right you easily able to go into yourself which is the most powerful part of your being that's where you can meditate right when you let go and relax that's a, sp a space of meditation that's a space of infinite possibility okay interesting now name uh, it's very interesting and obviously i am sure that this would also come with practice yes, yes? obviously you know you, you i'm listening to you and uh, as convinced as i might be because any uh, you know the today in this world mm. anybody would latch on to anything that would give them that inner peace of mind why not we right. are going to try everything but this comes with time with yeah. practice um, i was reading up you were talking about the breathing and i was uh, uh, the founder of in fact uh, the art of living uh, he says that every emotion has a corresponding rhythm in the breath and regulating breath could help relieve personal suffering Absolutely. is it something to do with also yoga techniques yeah. because that is exactly also you know what yoga means to me absolutely he was so right uh, Is, yoga is by the way the science of actually yoga comes from the word yog which means harmonizing mm. right bringing together and through through this practice of the breath you're able to harmonize your body mind and spirit right? so different different ways of breathing like breathing heavy breathing light mat literally breathing techniques yeah very powerful breathing techniques acha techniques that can completely retune your nervous system yeah? mm. bring it back to peace You, you know that there's a rhythm to your every uh, rhythm to your body you know mm. we run th have a rhythm there's a rhythm to your mind some thoughts sometimes a lot of thoughts start coming right sometimes you know uh, there's a rhythm to your emotions right sometimes you feel very very emotional Bilkul. there's a rhythm to your spirit as well through the rhythms of, of the breath we're able to harmonize the rhythms of your body mind and spirit and bring you into the present moment right joy and happiness exist in the present moment stress is caused by this vacillation of the mind hmm. between anxiety about the future 
and regrets about the past. past. Vaccination true, true. is what puts stress on a whole nervous system. Most people are not in the moment. Most people are somewhere else, hmm. worrying about the future or regretting about the past. Right. True. Joy and happiness is in the present moment. You know, when, why does, you know, for example, you see a child eating a piece of chocolate. His whole universe brings, comes into, into that moment. Uh, or, or even for an adult, if they adult, love chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Anything, listening to music brings you into the moment, right? Um, when you really, namaz even, right? When you're praying to someone, hmm. to, to, to Allah, hmm. right? So in that moment, if you really have a great namaz, then you're really with Allah, right? Hmm. Then it's such a beautiful experience. But if your mind is worrying about something else, what will I... To have movie, oh, then pandia, you don't even yeah. enjoy that. It, huh? To really enjoy thing, anything in this life, right? Whatever, even jharu manna, right? Cleaning the, the house. If you do it with the whole body and mind, with your complete presence, huh. it can become a beautiful experience. True, but you know, and I totally agree with you at least at, on this point because I am known in my family to really love to wash dishes. <laughs> I find it very cathartic. You know, I'm cleaning something and it's like squeaky clean and it looks <laughs> nice and I, I get what you're saying. How does one uh, ignore the tragedies in life? You know, some people get hooked on to deaths and divorces and separations and there are so many issues uh, how does one get beyond that and be in that state where you feel that it's going to be fine everything is good what we feel for example grief is something which is real hmm. it happens there's a saying whatever you resist will persist yeah? if you resist your emotions they will persist for much much longer so let it come i tell you don't think of a pink elephant Hmm. What do you think of? A pink colored elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever you resist will persist. Yeah. So, if you feel something, that's why in, in every religion, right, when somebody close passes away, hmm. there is a period to, 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 to grieve. Hmm. But then you move on beyond that. If you grieve properly, you let go. It's holding on to something, right? That's wrong. Being in the present moment, you have to be, take, take charge of your responsibilities and live in this moment. Hmm. But if you feel a certain emotion, feel it fully and then let it go. Right? If you hold on, oh, I don't want to feel but it. But it's a choice that you make, that you let it go. Absolutely. That's well. And if you, like I told you, all the seven years, if you have, actually they're all in balance, there's a natural process to everything, right? Then you naturally let it go and you'll move on. Hmm. But now, there's another issue, right? Like in our society, there's a lot of negativity, right? Because we're always, oh, we're doubting everybody else hmm. and everything around us. There is, there's, there's another cause for that, right? In our nervous system, we have energy. And in, in yoga, they call it prana. In Chinese methodology, they call it chi. Yeah, right? tai exactly. Chi. Huh. When it's low, right, you feel depressed, you feel negative. When it's high, right, you feel optimistic, mm. you feel like everything in the world is, you, you're in the state of belief. Right? But so it, it usually, and obviously you can correct me uh, if you like, but it you, usually happens on its own. Sometimes <laughs> you are just exuberant, you are happy anyway. And sometimes you are down for no reason. Because you're not looking after your energy, right? It, Instead of you, 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 you managing it well, right? most of us don't know the science of, of, of energy. In this class, Out of Living, we actually teach you the science. What are the causes of, what are the sources of the energy, number one, right? Mm. Sometimes we make mistakes. If you have a big heavy meal, this lunch, do parate, right? Big glass of lassi, chadga, right? Mm. Uh, very heavy. You will naturally have a low thereafter. Mm. But if you have a big salad, right? And you know, and a very healthy salad with with maybe just a, sm a small piece of you know whatever food, mm. uh, you will not have that low. So there's a certain flow. There's a cause to everything that mm. happens to you. Mm -hmm. And in this class, we very simply show you. We'll do an experiment over the five days. We do an experiment with which you will be able to understand how these all these, these things really work with you. Okay, interesting. Let me tell um, our viewers as well here that uh, the course, the class that you are talking about yes. actually starts today here in Lahore. So if you are in Lahore, you can join it. We are going to put up the details on our uh, Facebook page as well. But just to tell you that it is going to be, uh, it's a three, five day course? Five day. It five starts evenings. 6.30 to huh. 9.30 in the evening. Okay. So after work, because I do this after work. Yeah. And I do this as a volunteer, my way of giving back to society. All right. So, uh, so five days, a couple of hours. A couple of hours. And, uh, you know, you can really at least give it a shot. Learn. Why not? But you have to come with an open heart. Now, um, I was again reading up on it and there was this mention of uh, Sudarshan Kriya a lot. What is that? This is exactly the rhythmic breath. So this is what it's called. Yeah. And it's very, very powerful. Through this rhythmic breath, you're able to quieten the mind and the body. And it's such absolute, because that's what meditation is, right? Mm. 
when you can quieten the mind and the body, you're able to listen to your inner voice, to the peace and joy within you, and you experience, in, and that's also this infinite wisdom that lies within you, and you're able to access it. Hmm. And that's where the, you know, if in this course, if you experience that, you get a window into who you really are. And that is powerful, to remind ourselves of who we, re we really are. With all this noise around us, right, to realize that the real joy and happiness can only come from within. True. And we all know that, right? Hmm. We know people who have everything in the world and they're not happy. Yeah. And we That's know people true. who have nothing in this world and they still have a smile on their hmm. face. And there's a certain joy to their being, right? doesn't mean that you have to be poor or rich for that, right? Mm. It is just a matter of being connected to this inner place, right? Not True. getting caught up True. in the world around us. Naim, do you, do you ever get frustrated with things, with life? I mean, at the position that you are sitting yes. in, your, your professional, your career, uh, does anything ever become too heavy? Uh, you know, anger or frustration, how do you deal with that? I mean, they are real emotions. They come, right? Mm. But to be able to recover from it quickly is, is the whole art, mm, right? That's the key. Yeah, things, because when you get caught up in it, right? When you get upset and you get stuck in it, then you have a problem. You just quickly recover, becoming aware. So your awareness also expands. You become much, much more effective. Mm. It's really played a big role in my success, right? I am so much more effective. I don't get, I, I'm able, my energy is much better managed, right? I'm able to work much longer, much more clearly. I'm, I think, I, I, and I believe, that I'm a much better person to work with because I listen much more clearly. Mm -hmm. I'm not caught up very often in, in my own, you know, uh, ego. So it's, it allows you to be more effective. And being effective is the route to success. For a company like Vatin, right? which has gone through a very difficult time and we're in a turnaround situation, right. right? It's making all the difference. I think that the new energy that I bring to the company is transforming the organization. What we want is every employee to be coming to work joyously, right? Loving his work, loving the customer, right? Mm. And that's how you create success. There is no other way of creating success. Exactly. Successful companies, right? Any company in the world, any organization. Any sphere, is, any way you is, work. Yeah, it's some, it's an organization where people love what they do and they love their customers, hmm. right? They love the country and that's how you have success. And that's the organization we're building at Vatim. Interesting. So who would be the right candidate for this course? <laughs> Everybody. Huh? Everybody. 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 Nahi, na, phir Especially Pakistan because there's so much. In Pakistan, there's a lot more stress than we understand. And we're not dealing well with it, right? The kind of because if you don't manage your stress well, it turns into disease, in emotional stress, hmm. it impairs your ability to, to, hmm. to, do, to be happy and sure, joyous. Sure. So everybody is under a lot of stress, right? In our class, we have people from, from army generals to ministers to CEOs to housewives to, to students to people, you know, everybody. Any age matter. group, any background. Stress, especially if you've got, if you have, you know, because it then translates into a lack of, you know, your sleep disorders, huh. in terms of Boy, eating disorders, disorder. in many other forms, into hmm. disease, right? Um, chronic fatigue, clearly every one of those, right? Emotional stress, hmm. relationship issues, because it all gets translated, huh. right? They're, and all, they're all interconnected as yeah, well. Absolutely. Interesting, Naim. Thank you very much for coming here. Just a little, uh, you know, we had a peek into what the course could be like. And it's very interesting. If you are interested in, uh, you have to be in Lahore for that. That's but there right. are chapters in Islamabad. Islamabad, Karachi, Islamabad Karachi, 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 Peshawar. So we are Peshawar all over. Be. Yes, yes. Love it. Okay, <laughs> we are going to put it all up uh, on our page on Facebook. Once again, Naim, thank you very much for joining us. And um, yeah, I can feel the energy now. <laughs> Short break. We'll be right back.